Here we are with uh, prospect Miguel Flores El Michacano. Uh, what's going on, bro? Uh, nothing much, man. Just here checking out these fights, looking at all these uh, young prospects. Nice, man. Now, you remain undefeated. Uh, just got word you're going to be fighting December 4th? Yes, that's correct. In California, so we're getting ready for that one. Nice. And uh, when did uh, you start training camp for that one? Well, actually, I had been training already, man. I had been uh, training, helping some uh, this Puerto Rican kid spar. So I've been I've been training already. Got back from surgery. Got back in, man. And we've been working. So they told us, you know, the fight was like four weeks away when they told us. So man, we're like, shit, we'll take it. Perfect. Nice. So uh, good way to close out the year, 2014. Man, that's 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 what I was hoping, man. You know, give me a little good payday for Christmas. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, how you feel so far, man? I mean, obviously still undefeated, top prospect, signed with Al Heyman. Yes, and um, you know, um, keeping uh, active. How you feeling? Man, it feels great. You know, we're we're in the right path. We're still undefeated. We're with the right people. You know, we're not trying to rush anything. You know, I'm 22. Maybe I haven't fought as consistent as consistently as I've wanted to. But hey, man, I've been in the gym. We're still learning. Every day's a learning experience. So you know, I'm happy with where I'm at right now. Absolutely. Now in 2015, um, obviously step up the competition a little bit. When would you like to uh, make your run as far as maybe even competing for a world title or stepping up to that contender status? Well, you're right. In 2015, I'm hoping to step up my opponents. You know, even though at this stage, man, ain't no easy, ain't no easy opponent. So every, every time you go in there, you, you're you're taking a risk. So uh, you know, in 2015, pick it up a little bit, and maybe in 2016, man, go for a world title. You know, there's a lot of talent on that featherweight division man nice yeah there is man now uh you 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 are uh, you're actually a fan of uh, juan manuel marquez right uh definitely but you know my all-time favorite was uh barrera barrera, barrera fan yeah oh man so what about uh Te Te terrible morales i like terrible you know he was always he man he didn't care but barrera was smart man he always thought in there he knew how to get to morales absolutely now we're here for valdez and uh zurdo ramirez fight um what do you think of those two guys Ah oh, man, great prospects. Valdez, I've been watching him, man, you know, going to the Olympics two times for Mexico. That's, that tells you a lot right there. And about uh, Sordo Ramirez, I mean, he, I've seen his fight with Don Mouton. He knocked out Don Mouton. And yeah. That's a tough, that's it's a tough, tough dude. You're right. Yeah, yeah, so he knocked him out. So, man, there you go. That's two of the best top ranked uh, prospects. So, you know, that, that that's that's good that they put in this card out here in San Antonio. Hey, San Antonio rocking right now, man. On the car is making some noise. Hey, uh, you're training out of Houston. Tell me a little bit uh, about the gym you're training out of. Well, man, we train everywhere. Uh, <laughs> I do my strength and conditioning at Hank's gym. Well, uh, we do our boxing uh, at Juan, Juan Diaz's new gym. He nice. opened up a new gym, pretty right. nice gym. But we also do a uh, training at the uh, main boxing gym over there with Bobby Ben and uh, Lou Savarese. They, they let us borrow their gym. You know, we get a lot of sparring over there, man. If you go in there, you have Brad Solomon, uh, Regis. Pro Grade, everybody's sparring over there, so man, it's a lot of good work. Hey man, shout out Regis Pro Grade, just signed with Lou DiBella. I see uh, that. You, you guys staying pretty active out there yeah, in yeah. Houston. That's what I'm saying, man. You walk up in that gym, 9 o'clock in the morning, there's already sparring. Cedric Agnew, and there's a lot of people out there sparring. Little Cedric Agnew on the on the undercard show, he's doing this little thing. Yeah. Hey, uh, b before we let you go, man, anything you guys say to the boxing heads, the boxing fans out there? I uh, mean, just man, keep up with this boxing world, man. You know, just a lot of good fights coming up. You know, we're closing out the year strong, but 2015 is going to be even better, man. There he is, undefeated prospect, Miguel Flores. Follow him. Follow him, man. Thank you.